Hi guys and welcome to 123MyIT's video on how to create a Windows bootable USB drive on a Mac running OS X Yosemite. Okay guys, so uh, today we'll be doing this video on a MacBook Air uh, early 2014. And what you will need for this video is you will need a 8GB USB drive and you will need a Windows ISO file. Okay, so if we go into go and go to utilities and we'll have a look at our disk utility here and we can see here that we've got our uh, 8 gigabyte uh, USB drive which is the untitled drive here. So that's fine. Now if, if you guys don't have a Windows uh, ISO file, uh, what you can do is you can go to the 123MyIT website and type in create ISO in the top search bar here. And this is if you have a Mac which has a DVD, you'll be able to create an ISO file from that DVD. Okay, so here it is here. You can go ahead and watch that video and that will help you out. Uh, if you don't have a copy or uh, don't have a DVD version of Windows, uh, you can actually get the trial version by going into the downloads menu here on the 123MyIT website. And if you scroll down, you've got the Windows Technical Preview or the Windows 8.1 Blue Preview download. So you can just download the ISO file there. If you wanted to buy a version of the, uh, of the Windows, uh, you can just go into the 123MyIT store and you've got uh, Windows 8.1 Pro, uh, Windows 8.1, Windows 8.1 Pro Student. All right, and they're all different prices as well. Okay guys, so once you have uh, downloaded your uh, Windows ISO file, you've got your eight gigabyte USB drive. The next step we need to do is actually run the boot camp assistant. Okay, so just go into your finder and type in boot camp. On the introduction screen, just hit continue there. What we want to do, I already have Windows uh, 8.1 installed on the bootcamp drive, so I don't want to remove it, so I'm going to take that tick out. At the top here, we want to make sure we have our create a Windows 7 or later version install disk, so later being Windows 8. We want to make sure that's ticked, and we want to hit continue here. All right, now because I have this uh, file already on the desktop, uh, the bootcamp system has been smart enough to actually pick up this file and it's already added it in. If it doesn't pick up the file, you can click on choose and browse to wherever it is uh, on your machine, uh, or you can just even drag it. That will work also, you can drag it into there like, like that. Uh, it has also picked up our uh, USB drive, all right? So it's picked that up. If it doesn't pick it up straight away, you can actually, you'll have another option here to choose to go in and choose your USB and then install it to that. One other issue, guys, is that uh, some people out there have said when they uh, try hitting next, it won't allow them to uh, copy this file or add this file in here. Um, what you can do is move this file to your user's documents folder. So if we go back to go and click on documents and then copy the file into, uh, into your documents, and then where it prompts you here under choose, we want to hit choose, go into documents, and then select your, your ISO file from there. And that works for some people. For some reason, when using uh, Yosemite, uh, when files are on the desktop, they have some permissions around them that doesn't allow them to be used. Okay, so let's hit continue here. So we've got our, we've chosen our ISO file, we've got our destination USB drive there, and we're gonna hit continue. All right, it's gonna give us a warning now, so it's gonna delete anything that's on the USB drive. So just make sure you have a backup or make sure you copy the files off your USB drive, either to your desktop before you do this next step. All right, hit continue. All right, so you can see there now, it's formatted the drive and it's removed the USB there and uh, it's installing everything on the USB. Now this will take some time because what it's actually doing now is it's extracting all the files from this ISO, all the Windows files, and it's copying them to this Win install USB drive. Okay guys, so it's finished now copying all the files from the uh, Windows ISO file to the Win 
uh, install of the, the USB drive and now it's it's prompted for our password so we're just going to put our password in there all right and now it's going to download the Windows support software okay so this is about one gig in size so this will take a little while to download maybe about uh, 10 minutes uh, depending on how fast your internet connection is as you can see I'm on the wireless here so you will actually need an internet connection to uh, to download this software All right, you can see here now I've got win download Windows 7 support software. This Mac only supports Windows 7. Do you want to continue? We just want to hit continue at this stage and then we'll have to put in our password again. Okay guys, and if you get this message coming up which says can't install the software because is it not currently available from the software update server? That's fine, you can just click okay on that. All right, so now your, if you double click on your USB and you've got all your uh, Windows install files copied across to the, the uh, USB now. All right guys, so that's pretty much it. That's how you create the Windows USB on a Mac with Yosemite. Uh, if this was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and feel free to leave some feedback below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.